patients with asymptomatic severe aortic stenosis and a preserved left ventricular ejection fraction typically undergo clinical and echocardiographic follow-up every 6 to 12 months, per current guidelines. A new trial evaluated whether early transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, would improve outcomes in these patients. This multicenter open-label randomized control trial included 901 adults 65 years of age or older with asymptomatic severe aortic stenosis, a preserved left ventricular ejection fraction, and anatomy suitable for transfemoral TAVR. Participants were assigned either to early TAVR with transfemoral placement of a balloon expandable valve or to clinical surveillance according to American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association guidelines. During a median follow-up of 3.8 years, the primary endpoint, a composite of death from any cause, stroke, or unplanned hospitalization for cardiovascular causes, occurred in 26.8% of the TAVR group as compared with 45.3% of the clinical surveillance group, a significant difference. With respect to the components of the primary endpoint, death from any cause occurred in 8.4% of the TAVR group and 9.2% of the surveillance group. Stroke occurred in 4.2% and 6.7% respectively. And unplanned hospitalization for cardiovascular causes occurred in 20.9% and 41.7% respectively. The authors conclude that in older adults with asymptomatic severe aortic stenosis, early TAVR lowered the risk of a composite of death from any cause, stroke, or unplanned hospitalization for cardiovascular causes as compared with guideline-recommended clinical surveillance. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.